Hello everyone and welcome back to Altria's Plays. We're playing Pacific Drive. We're in we're jumping in in the middle, but we do have perpetual stability, but not very much fuel. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's all the same to me. Now let's have a look at this and see where we're going. The goal here is to find a way into the wall, and there's three um three <laughs> three waypoints, I guess. Uh which are gonna be the ways into the wall, I suppose. Where are we? We're there maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we? I'm guessing we're up there. Uh, if we pick up all the limb, it's not going to be perpetually stable anymore. What do you think that is? Uh, scroll. Train car, cabin, Arda trailer. Not recognised. Let's go and see. That sounds good. Uh, I've accidentally put the thing on the map, so I suppose we'll go and have a look. Do you think any of these is fuel? Maybe. It looks like the first one might actually be fuel, so that'll be grand. Yeah, we are up there. Look, it's so shiny. It's these modern, newfangled screens. By the way, that screen. What what, what decade are we in? That is obviously a CRT. These look like LCDs. And this is just far too high quality for anything before the year 2014, maybe? Oh, jeez. Are you the charge the up type dude? Are you a friendly one? You're not going to get me, are you? You're not going to climb aboard. Yeah, there we go. You are charging me up. At very little damage, so I'm just going to leave you there. You're not in my favourite place. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Keep giving me the power. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go over here. Well, you can stay there for a minute. Sure. You're fine. Uh, you keep doing that while I go over here and don't get zapped by this. And then I think we can probably just get the hair off. You, you, you've done your job. Are you damaging me, by the way? That's my question. Maybe? Go away. Fix that. Uh, will we? No. Please make me some... <laughs> no chemicals, I can't fix it. That's, that's unbelievable, Jeff. Never heard of such a thing. Can you add a minute? Look how thin that screen is! I don't know what century, what year this is supposed to be set in, but... It does not... It's not a year that I thought would have screens of that calibre. It's not just a thin screen, it's very high resolution as well. So I think we'll just pick this up, since we're here. Whoa! Rough. You're touristing out here. Send it. You better provide some goodies. That's all I can say. Just bits of you. I've got a lot of that stuff to collect, so you need to start dropping it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Oh, there. I can actually open the gateway if I really wanted to. No, I'm not going to. Whoa! Big tree. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't use your phone when driving. It's like, the Tom Tom literally tells you to pay attention to the road and don't use the Tom Tom whilst the car is in motion. Pull over if you need to make changes. And here's me. Just, look, there's no one on the road to hit, and therefore, what could possibly go wrong, right? Since that's there, let's get our. Let's, uh, I don't get. Let's refill our car. I'm ignoring the the damage that it's doing to me. It's very very slow health loss actually, which is brilliant. It's what we want to see. Uh, and then. Scary noises, by the way. Also, what? <laughs> There's nothing in that barrel. It's a huge barrel. Empty. Have I got any food in me? Did I bring it? No, I'm not using that. Well, I've got loads. Let's just use it. 
That does take its time, doesn't it? It has to happen. I didn't need to, look. There was a petrol station all this time. Alright, well. Where are... What do? Where go? And why? Well, there's no uh, radiation in this one, which is nice. So let's just fill up our... Uh, fill up our tank and our tin. If there is a... Yeah. Please, thank you. Please. Do this, do this, do this. I was actually genuinely going to think that there wasn't anything in, in, not, in, enough in that pump, but there wasn't anything in that pump. It's good, it's good. Uh, what's this now? Getting salty. We can have a much better uh, aerial thingy than that one. Before too long. Uh, why is there... Why is there radiation over here? There's a puppy over there. There's also this chap. Let's have a, let's have a chat. I've never taken a picture with a friendly dumpster. How about that? Oh, a dumpster pill. You don't often see a friendly dumpster out in the in the sticks, out in the in the world like this. So I'm happy to get the opportunity to pick up a dumpster pill or two. Just one, I think. Sorry about your TV, but you know no one's been here for a long time, so. Sorry, not sorry. Yes. There's glowing noises out here. Is it that? Mm. Don't know if I want to make this place unstable. <laughs> Whilst there's uh, a mission to get on with. Um... Nothing in here. Ooh, a backpack. You can tell it's not the long dark because you can't open the mailbox. Worth a punt, eh? Get out of here. Uh, an unfriendly dumpster. Fair enough. Right, we want to... Do we have any things left? Enough stuff to make the repair for? We still don't have any chemicals. From all that looking at stuff. Gonna have a quick look at my thing. We might be able to get some chemicals in this area, so we can, we'll go there. Um, quick look around here. Anything that we've missed? Excuse you. Is that that giant thing? Maybe. Um, I want to go to that truck actually. Let's go and see that truck. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Did I see it? There it is. And we win. A whole bunch of stuff. What's this? A crude headlight. No, thank you. Go kart steering wheel. You say so? 
Now what is possibly up this way? Looks like it's just a dead end actually. Hello again. Right, keep an eye out here. I'm pretty sure that this is not damaging me in any way. So I might as well just hold on to it. <laughs> Till it gets bored, maybe. Stop. No. Rules of the road don't apply anymore. I'm literally the only person here. Especially if you're not going to hurt me when I get out of the car. You know, you're not... You're so friendly. You won't even attack. You can't... You can't it's fine. Hey! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Oh, that's really funny, actually. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Send that over there. Uh, no. Thanks for showing me this, though. More lore. I know, it seems rude, but also it's kind of funny. Look, they're not harm. They hurt a bit. But, you know, the the hare and the the, the big friendly puppy, they're just going to have a, they're having a whale of a time. They're just larking about, all right? No one, no one's. It's all consensual, is what I'm saying. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> Did you grab onto my pry bar? Yeah. You can't pull me around, bro. Get out of it. Don't find that. Found it. Well done. Yeah, I've emptied that. Armoured door? Armoured panel? Ooh. Steel panel. This squire is good fun. Some attire. Just the one, but still. We... We will. I think I'll take the front ones. Uh, that's a that's a panel. Okay. Close it. <laughs> take it off. That seems <laughs> that's a heavy car now. Uh, can't we bother pulling that apart? We'll just move on. Just leave it behind. I'm sure when the government come back, come and clear this place up. Uh, which they're definitely going to do, you know. Absolutely for sure. Okay. You need to calm down. <laughs> Have you had your mess today, hopping bunny hair? Clearly not. Oh, yoink. We could probably make more use of our vacuum, to be honest, right? Because... <laughs> Stick. Because we can make them now. Uh, cool. Let's go. What does this look like, by the way? Yeah, we want to keep going this way. Reasonably gentle. This is a very nice level. Gentle slopes. Wide vistas. Unthreatening. Anomaly life. This is a bit obscure. What? Put them in. Thank you.
Okay, still no chemicals. Where's the other thing? Is it that? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't need to make any repair putty now because the worst damaged thing. Well, the second worst damaged thing I've now replaced with an armored ver version. So. Uh, so that, that's all good. In we go. It's an annoying repeated noise. What is this stuff? Well, well that's obviously the wall. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I'm hearing all those noises, though. Like, there's a... Ooh. Do you remember that big radio telescope thing that we saw? It kind of feels like whenever I hear that big noise, it's that. I thought I could see one on the horizon, but maybe I couldn't. Uh, it's going to be... This one, I think. Probably should have checked. <laughs> Playing blindly at the moment. Yep, that'll do. Remember, we got a whole extra side inventory to fill it, so we can loot as much as we possibly can. This turns gears into flares. <laughs> the other way around, maybe. Ooh. A kit for the ceiling. We should check if we need to seal anything. Knowing my luck, something's probably gone bad by now. Was that worth an electrician's kit? I don't necessarily think it was, but okay. Any of this going to stack? Suit yourself. Uh, we can put the ceiling kit in here. I mean, we've got more than enough food and stuff. I'm just going to keep this a little bit fresh. Oh, there's my... Oh, I've already got that. Okay. Let's not put too many inventory type things in there. Put it all in there. Uh, and I'm also going to put this on number six because I don't use the the taker apart very much. Uh, can we make repair for two now? No. <laughs> so I haven't found any chemicals. Fine. Will you shut up, Hopping Hair? I'm very grateful for your assistance, but also your really annoying noise. Oh, we, we need to go and see what that is. Of course. Let's do that first. I don't want to end up leaving this area because we crossed the wall. There's the expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone, and more importantly, us from those two idiots. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. I'm sure that's exactly where I want to be. Can't wait. That's painted. If that's not a, uh, what? If that's not a, a, a honey pot. It's not. <laughs> All right then. Beat yourself. You're very helpful, but you're so annoying. So any chemicals? No. This one? It's great to have such an armoured car. I'm wondering if I want... I'm happy currently with having armoured panels, but I do wonder if there's better options. I suppose when we know what sort of uh, anomalies and, and uh, effects, you know, conditions we're going to be looking out for on the big map in the garage, then we can start to pick what we put on it. We can take things off and put it on again. We can have different, different decals on our car each time. Cool would that be? Uh, not remotely cool. That sounds lame and nerdy, but also... What are you going to do about it? Because it's the only, it's the only uh, 
happiness we get. It's the only joy that can be found in a place like this. So, just, just live with it. Now, this car is struggling in its neck. Oh, I didn't actually check my wheels. I'm going to stop in a minute. But we should. Fine. Fine. So do your four-point checks every time you leave. Every time you sit up. Okay. Thanks, I guess. These armoured panels must be really heavy. Because my acceleration is tanking. <laughs> Every time I change this car, it gets worse and worse. Cut across. Find that we have got a Starship Enterprise. A repair stop. Interesting. Are you for real? It just fixes my car? Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I went. We only needed a little bit of repairing to be look, there's a meter on it, that's how much you can have. But we only needed a tiny little bit of repair putty in the first place. Now we don't need any. Well, maybe a smidgen. I think some of these, yeah. But it got the worst hit bits. I don't know if it prioritizes or just as just just does everything sort of at once until you run out of charge on it. But nice. Uh, don't open the thing. Just go to yeah. Screech. I wish I could take a hopping hair. I bet it doesn't... Do you think it comes with me when I travel? <laughs> I want to just keep it. You can stay, bruh. Did you go? No, you're still there. I'm assuming that they will fall off when I travel through a gate. But... Like... But... I don't want it to. I want him with me everywhere I go. What are you? Your trip? What are you? Just a supply truck, maybe. Investigate for. Uh, crude door, crude door. Pry bar, I don't care about it. Look, you spent all that. You got all that free repairing. And you just crash straight into the... How did that light get hurt from that? Also, why is there a shiny bit right there that won't go away? Quite annoying. I love how these hopping hairs have infinite battery, but we can't, like, harness this ability of them. Whoops. <laughs> hey, come back. You're not, you're not getting away that easy. You have infinite power, so... Get on. Now why can't we make use of that? Of all the uh, anomalies that we have or have not been able to make use of. I was just thinking yesterday, I've not seen any water in this game before, so maybe they haven't done any water physics, but... Here's some. So maybe they have. Bit irradiated here, huh? Right, gonna get out anyway. It's only a bit. Want some... <laughs> want some chemicals. Give me chemicals. Not good enough. 
Not good enough. This is where I would probably exchange something. What? You want me to exchange? I don't even uh, scan this. Look at that. Um, you want me to exchange an entire crowbar for a trapezium of heavy? Ah, a hazmat case. That will probably do what we want. Chemicals. Yay. <laughs> it's really hard to get. One of the most abundant resources. And I haven't found any until just now. Okay. Um, do you think I can scan that? I see the running around dude. Flying around dude, I suppose. I can, oh, if I use my zappy thing to get rid of this guy, uh, the, to make the bloke let go of me, I'm also going to lose my friend. So I don't know if I want to do that. Ow. Oh, you broke it! That, I am not down with at all. This water isn't deep enough to be, uh... I hope you picked up a torch, <laughs> a flare, and tried attacking me. No, I didn't know that would happen. So... Oh, well. Hey, you picked up... What? How dare you? Did you? Oh, you did pick that up. I thought you picked up a... Uh... Plasma. Majigger. Don't know. Right. That's how it's going to be. Uh, see this. And we can just drive through any of these holes, I suppose. Any of the open ones, which is this one. I don't feel good about this situation. Very slippery. You want me to drive in that? Does this seem clever to you? You'd walk through, wouldn't you? This was you. In your situation? If you were in this situation, would you not walk through this? Oh, jeez. This is not fun, and uh, I've not got a friend to keep my battery charged. <laughs> and it's also very dark. Has the condition changed, do you think? Doesn't look like it has. What's this? Not sure. I'm inside the wall, I see. So the wall's actually a double layer over here. Can I get up there, do you think? Yeah, but there's some fuel here. What could I what could possibly go wrong using this to light my use of the fuel? <laughs> Nothing. Obviously. Hardly fills it up. This is a huge tin. That compared to that, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach this. Just based on the fact that it seems to be up there, and um, I ain't getting up there. So I don't think I am. It doesn't seem worth it. It's probably just a normal building. It's not a particularly interesting or different building. You see my lights just dim again there. They are dimming and brightening. That's interesting. What do you suppose it's doing it? I honestly don't know if it was happening or if it was a glitch. <laughs> if it's just the lighting engine being weird. Because that could be like... Yeah, it goes again. 
don't I? I'm not doing anything. So it's either a glitch or it's atmospheric. But I don't think there's a quirk, and I still haven't found a quirk yet of this car. Which is weird. So weird that there's not been a single quirk this whole time. I hate driving this through here. It's such a bad idea. <laughs> oh, this sucks. If you like. Uh, I don't like how this has become so... internal. I'm just going to assume that there's no trains at this time. That entire barrel row was full, and yet this thing is not even slightly full. Go figure, as they say, across the pond. Or where you live, you're already across. What is this, by the way? Lead. Okay, so I could have turned... Uh, what's it called? Crowbar into lead if I wanted to. I don't think I wanted to. Can I not adjust my rear view mirror, by the way? It's not really in the right position for me. Let's see what's up here. Let's turn the telly on. Ooh. I'm glad I had a look. There's actually anomalies in here. Seriously? <laughs> Eat. Smash, crash, bash. There's more of them. What? No thermosat crystals. You absolute rotter. I think I could probably make plenty of the uh, battery recharging the zapping machines, so I'm not too worried about my actual battery, despite having lost my friend. We can eat that. Just plastic. Disapproved greatly. You don't know where you're zapping. That's not that's not how this works, bro. Phew. Supposed to do a crawling along type zap, that was just doing the staying in place type zap. Okay. This place is huge. Let's drive. Is this a thing? No. Love the uh, sound effects, by the way. The, the zappy. I didn't realise I was going this way. I thought it was going... Hmm. I actually seem to have turned the direction I should be going. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn back. Those lights are definitely doing something. It's not the engine, I'm sure of it. It almost seems intentional. I just can't figure out what's changing about my car. That makes the lights do that. But it might be where my wheel is at, like it's full turn or something. I don't know. Maybe it's when I point up or downhill. It's just so many options. Don't even know what the options are. Ah!
Oh, I had one. I don't need to do that. I've got a spare one. <laughs> Never mind. I've got another spare one, I guess. Guess we don't need to go wading around in a ankle deep pool <laughs> that much. What is this place? There's always a level like this in Quake as well, right? That's get jumped by an anomaly or something. I'm sure of it. Whoa. Again, same transmutation. No, thank you. Sort of hoping to find something extra, you know, something we've not seen before, something interesting. Especially now that we're on the inside of the the wall, you know? Maybe you can start giving me some of the cool stuff we don't see. Okay. A ladder? No. Pretty sure that's just birds? Um, you want to think about it? Too hard? <laughs> Reminds me of that bit in Fallout 4 where you just have to look on the on the seafront on the docks. This is parkour that I'm doing. <laughs> Am I going to get anything from this? Excellent sniper rifle or something? Probably not. I believe there is no combat in this entire game. Is that the way out? Oh, that's why I came in. Is it? Is that another way in? No, that's where I came from. I'm so confused. Also, I'm stuck over here. It's great to have so much to explore, but uh, how do I get out? <laughs> Let me out. I'm scared. Want to go home? Okay, I'm safe. I made it back. My, my. Do not... Under any circumstances, climb over things that you're not supposed to climb over. You'll never get back. Right, let's go back to the car. Probably boost the battery a little bit. I think there's nothing in here. Yeah, okay. The lights are still on, but nobody's home. Sorry. Uh, I could do with some. Right, well, that was the uh, extent of this place. Let's head back that way and see if we can establish why the lights sometimes dim. I'm fairly sure the light dimming is something... There we go. Did it again? Well, that might have been the fog. Is it the speed I'm going at? So now that I've discovered it's happening, I'm really intrigued. <laughs> I'm really, really interested in figuring out what is actually happening. Oh. Okay. But you're not part of the spark tower, you're just free plasma. Fair enough. Not that I'm complaining. There's another spark tower. Uh, a whole bunch of tourists, which could also be very helpful.
There's a lot of tourists. Look at all them. And that looks like what we're after. Nope. It's like them exploding as well. Gosh. Is it them exploding? Because they're not. Rude. Keep exploding tourists and they never give me stuff. I need a lot of that stuff. Uh, was there or not? Yeah, there was. More lore. Got a lot to listen to and read when we get to the end of this uh, episode, haven't we? Our lore dump is going to be immense. By the way, this seems to want me to sort of keep going. But I'm not sure if maybe I needed to... Because down there... I did find sort of exit underground, but I don't know how to get into it. So maybe we have to go all the way up here and all the way around. Or up. <laughs> Apparently we can go up as well. Keep your eyes peeled for anything interesting. There's some fuel there. Probably grab that. It's handy. Put it in. Alright, this meant that this large fuel can is half a tank. Just based on how quickly that went in. This has to be the way through, right? It's taking me all the way up to the, what looks like this path. I'm very interested. Ugh, I want to go back and see. I'm not sure which side it was on now. No, it was on the other side. Yeah, there was definitely a thing underground on the other side of this wall. It looked like it would take me to some sort of secret area. Hello. Just gonna keep following this trail, I suppose. I mean, it's the track of the trains. Yoink. You. So better go somewhere. Do it again. I can't. I'm so confused. Is it atmospheric? Or is it my car? Do not. Take the stabilised access road. Obviously, we turn left when we get down here. Despite the roadblock. Oh. <laughs> This is your opportunity game to give me rewards for exploring. That is that is a thing. You can do that. There's one heck of a wall. It's full of junk in the middle. Alright, let's go. Don't think I'm ever gonna figure out what that thing was. Kinda wanna go back, but I don't want to spend the time. <laughs> I've already been playing for 50 minutes. I don't need to spend another half an hour figuring out what that one track was. Especially since the game doesn't really have that much uh, 
super secret stuff. It's not. There's nothing, I think, that can be sort of supremely, amazingly, wonderfully, I'm glad I did this. I'm here, but now we can go into three-hour drive, apparently. Uh, perpetual stability, even though we know what this is. There's a whole bunch of uh, anomalies, many of which we probably know. I've got a bad tyre. We should check that. I've got a bad right rear tyre. Let's see what's wrong with that. It's loose. Hello, friend. Welcome to our oh god, side of the wall. it's you. Why didn't you go out? Uh, first no other way. First, we've got to extend the signal from the garage, otherwise Oppie's equipment won't be much help. Oh dear, I've got a lot more to do. This may be another episode. <laughs> you should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Uh, I was going to try and make some repair party for once in my life. Yes. An actual moth. I, I knew it. There's wildlife. And we heard birds. So it's not entirely overtaken by the anomalies. There are actual real wildlife here. Right, let's have a look at our map, see if there's anything we recognize. Uh, is that doing it? Right. Uh, plenty of limb to discover. We're up here. At the top. I don't see a repair site, so that's a shame. But we can get some limb on the way. Let's just do that. Maybe we'll get a hopping hare to be our friend. Whoa. We're going to get some new anomalies, I expect. Because we're in a heightened... Danger zone. Mid danger now. Hopefully, this storm will pass so we can see where we're going. Where's our radiation? No, oh, thank you. Hot dust, maybe. Maybe there's radiation everywhere in this world. Gold paint? And a colossal floof. Don't mind if I uh, do. That sounds amazing. Everyone loves their floofs. Uh, I definitely need more storage space. Please. I shouldn't have used up that. Scrapper. What did I have in number one? It was a crowbar. I've broken a crowbar. When did I do that? I'll save us some storage space in the place where I'm pretty sure I've already got a crowbar waiting for me. What is this? Radiation everywhere. Fine. Uh... Wait, what? It just, it wasn't there, even though it wasn't broken. Fine. Salamander Grosso. We should look at that. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Is it not one of these? Right. I'm just going to use it and see what happens. Recommend. Ah, oh, oh, it's the next level of cool. 
Marsh eggs, yay! We need them. Alrighty. Can't 100% necessarily actually get past this. Can we get past this? Let's try going around it, I suppose. Interested in those. Not 100% sure how to deal with this. <laughs> Orb. Uh. Okay. What do I do with it? Nothing, I suppose. I notice how there's a... They often represent cars with stuff to pick up. Maybe it's just a waypoint. Don't like these stopping you going on the road type structures. Apparently, well, I'm going to follow the road. Uh, it seems like it's just across the swamp, but I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to drown. Do you reckon I'm going to get corrupted limb from this place? Okay, two problems. First of all, what's this? Cough box. Fine. Just a straight-up abductor. I'm going to ignore the law for that, because I'm not going to go near it, <laughs> basically. Uh, and those... Yeah, those are definitely irrelevant flower thingies. Nothing special there. Should be a limb thing up there. Stabilizer. Oh, it stopped, uh, stopped raining. Let's do the... It's getting light as well, and we could probably turn the lights themselves off. This place is <laughs> terrifying. I'm highly perturbed by this area. It's right by the wall, and it's definitely a different colour. Still zapping me. This hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Couldn't really have parked much closer. Probably could have tried. That would have been a good start. At least I put the thing on the aerial so I know which car's mine. So, uh, in case you were wondering, yes. Yes, we do get unstable stuff from here. What do you mean, inventory full? I had. It, you picked it up. <laughs> you did what I wanted to. What is. Oh, there. Marsh X. 70. You get a lot. Let it not be said you do not get a lot. If. I'm friendly. Let me turn the lights off. If that light thing is actually a, a quirk of the car, I'm never going to figure out what's wrong. I'm, I might have a quick look at the quirks menu to see what it could be. Because if, if the menu suggests something that, you know, I'm thinking maybe it's that. Based on what meager observations I've managed to make so far, then there's a small opportunity to 
get it right, but... All the goodies in here. Thank you very much. And that will probably do. Neat. Hardcore. Uh, moving on. Whoa. Steady. Like the Lake District or the Peak District. Mm, Peak District makes more sense. I don't know why is that Lake District. I haven't even been there for donkey's years. And you? Why are you in Explode? Tourists. Okay. Carrying on. I'm not going in the coffin gas. Can't make me. Panels turn into. Ooh, ooh, there are no chemicals. <laughs> not 100% sure. But that seems like a faff anyway. I don't want to do that. I wonder how much unstable limb we picked up. Maybe it'll tell me. So it's 3.8 Kalin, but I don't know if that's all together. I mean, I guess I can use any flavour of limb to get out of a place, right? That would make sense. I'd hope so, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get out of these places that only have it. Unless they have both. We've got a lot to learn. We don't know about this place at all. You can theorycraft to your heart's content. But you might as well just wait and play the game and watch... See where we get to. Same basic structures. Nothing special on this side of the wall except everywhere's a little bit more corrupt. A little bit like the. Uh, a little bit like what happens if you get too much bad magic in Formcraft. Start spreading the corruption. I should be able to climb that. Uh, okay. I do not like my gear shifter. I would change it. Guess I'll just smash in. Crash. I presume that is what fell over in the uh, on the other side of the wall. I tried to scan. Smash. Do I have a second one of those? Let's not make one until we know whether we need to. Normal radiation, right? 0 0.9. I didn't realise it actually had... There's a, yeah, there's a fall-off zone that I'd never realised before. Zoom. Get out of here. Probably going to have to think about recharging my battery. It's already complaining at me. Um, oh, yeah. Checking for hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. No spare hammer. Or spare one of those I've forgotten about. Spare hammer? No. And I've got that anchor radar, which nearly came in useful, but I would have had to go a long way back to find it, and I didn't really fancy doing so. Hang on. What is it? Okay.
Oh, there's another one. Crunch. Break this. Smash. Oh. <laughs> Rude. Do I have another one of them? Nope. I'm glad I can make a pry bar just in my boot. On a cutting board that's designed for scalpels. <laughs> I'm trying to close things. I'm trying to be tidy and the game won't let me. No. This way. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's it. I'm out of, I'm out of loot goblin space. Even... Oh. Is that an impending storm? No. Right. Here's the same uh, structure again in a different place. Well, that's fair enough. I don't see why there should be a different structure just because we're on the other side of the wall. They would have built them the same before they put the wall up, before everything went wrong. So that makes sense. Right, this is where you make the stability thing go and it becomes unstable, right? Okay, a stabilizer in section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey Francis, pair the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There. Your receiver's hooked in now. Right. Patched into all that sweet off device data. <laughs> nice work. Obvi won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Let's open me a gate. I don't want this. If you told me that was going to happen, I would have collected way more of this limb. <laughs> okay, let's go and get some limb. See if we can get it on the way past. Uh, maybe not. Oh, jeez. I haven't got time. For anything. I can't even follow this road. I'm going to have to go off-road. I don't think I can, because there's too much water in the way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> really put me in the thick of it now, game. I can't even get these tourists. We're going to have to come back. Look, we know how to get unstable limb now. So let's not worry too much about actually doing so. We are thoroughly in there. Look, let's uh, let's do that. Yeah, no, put the put the waypoint. Jeez, that is a fast red storm. I am not a fan. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. I am going to get got by this red storm for certain. Cranky. It's so much like the the formatting thing in Tron. It's actually terrifying for the same reason. Uh, hello. I think I'd rather you didn't do that. Especially when I'm trying to get out of here. I will scan you next time. Right now. We'll pass. Can I go through here? Nearly, kind of, maybe, sort of. Well, it's quite slow now. It's slowing down. I think it's slowing down. It's giving me the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> it's because it didn't tell me it was going to happen. So, oh, there's way more anomalies to learn about. So much more stuff to learn. Look, look at that. Stuff to scan. Well, I thought that was a tree, but it was a, it was a tree. Okay. <laughs> I turned away thinking tree. 
Look back and it was like, no, it's not a tree. It's just part of the hill. Look back again. No, it's a tree. I, I got out of the way of the right thing. Oh, jeez. I forgot that making a place stable makes it heavily unstable. We beat the red storm! Game ac gain access to the mid zone and escape from there to the auto shop. Achievement get. Hello. Well, I'm never going to learn about my hopping hair. 0 0.4 unstable, I got. We have to go back. Poppy was hiding a magic teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? No, you really couldn't have. Connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. <laughs> These guys. Right, okay. Um, let's back up a bit because we've gone way too close. All right, I've, I've identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this, there Ooh. we go. That security lock's powered on now. We try that overload code from the observation towers. Four seven three five. One thing at a time. Uh, what does the X mean? Actually, I should have looked at that. It's not a huge waste, but like. Bald, fix none. It's not. Have a bald model. You've got a flat model, but maybe that's maybe that's a maybe there's a ticket for that. Someone please make bald bald tire model. Um, right. You're fine. I'll take this off then. Not you. No fix for that. Uh, fresh one, please. Right. We'll do what you said. What did you say? Unlock the bathroom. Okay. So there is stuff back here. Driver, something you should know about that database? When artists Before I go began now. to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. Okay. That data could contain what we need to help you. Not that then. Why? Why? Got something to do with these, right? The only thing is we can interact with, apparently. Oh, I need to find it. Come on. I can't even interact with this bin, and I've heard about bins. I understand what they're for. Scrap all the things. If anything in here breaks, it's that. Okay. Oh. Hard drive. Look at the size of this thing. It's not even got a case on it. That's wrecked by now, guaranteed. Send the drive to Tobias and Francis. Now we know what the tube is for. Boy, oh boy, look at all these gizmos in here. Arpia was an hard drive, no floppy disk. Auto shop. A fabrication station. Oh, a personal vault. There's some good stuff in there. Oh, you did it. Hey, you actually did it. Oh, boy, out that is going to be an actual wreck when you get back. Not sure that's a good idea at this point.
Murphy, what's, uh, come the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Whoa, chili beans. Did she just hang up on us? Yeah. Uh, guess it's our time to shine. So, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? Well, we know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Yeah, one day. I'm just gonna sort this out. I'll do it off camera. Uh, what did I want to do before I did all that? I can't remember. Let's hoover this up. And cause there to be some... Law. Let's have some law. Second is failing. Turned up the 4D... 3D, 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 3D. Uh, we didn't get very much, um, you know, unstable limb. I'm guessing corrupt is on the third side of the thing. Let's see. Yeah, lots of. We're gonna need a lot of that. We're gonna have to go there a few times. That's fine. Corrupted energy. <laughs> no. Nothing ahead. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see what the possible inputs are for this. An ability is activated. Uh, do I not get a... No. Okay. Uh, battery... Could be battery decreases quickly. Could be decreases at all. Car... Moves fast, receives anchor, moves slow, brakes. Moves backwards, is off ground. Is on an incline, moves uphill, mo like... Moves uphill, moves downhill, and is on an incline. Is kicked. You can kick it. Uh, those all seem to be somewhat related to this bizarre uh, lights issue, right? Piece of crap. Get in position. That's really handy, actually. <laughs> Troubleshooting. That's it. I actually got a, uh, an achievement for that. Give it a few swift kicks. Maybe it'll help. Um, I can't test incline or decline here. But, you know, how many guesses do I have? Well, I best I get this for a minute. And we'll see what we get. Uh, we have... Doesn't say. I think it might be when the car... Kind of moves uphill. Headlights. Dims. We have eight guesses remaining. Yes. <laughs> There's something wrong with the headlights. Okay. Flickers. Let's submit that. I. There's something wrong with the headlights. And I don't know what they are. <laughs> okay. Um. Fine. Dashboard key is turning. Fuel? They were def maybe they were brightening. Ah, that's why they didn't brighten again. They brightened as a result of something, and I'm noticing them dimming again. So I need to figure out why they're brightening. Okay, there is a quirk. It is to do with the headlights. I think they're brightening under some condition, and I don't know what that condition is. We've already visited the friendly dumps, you fool. Uh, okay. Let's do a quick lore dump. Because we can. And we haven't had one for a while. Uh, and... Oh. Uh, then I'll, you know, do the usual fixing up the car, replacing things. Uh, and we'll see where we're going to go next at the start of the next episode. So if you've been... Uh, 
ignoring the lore dumps because this is me reading stuff. By all means, I will see you next time. And if you're staying with me, then join me on this tour de force of knowledge that we're about to. This is going to be a whirlwind, a, a, a huge, like, uh, it's a dump, okay? It's a lore dump. It's going to be a dump. Repair stop. That's what we just learned about. Brilliant. Journal fragment, Dr. Francis Cook, May 2nd, 1961. This spring has been an absolute whirlwind of work, and I don't think we've ever been more in sync with the engineering teams. Ah, spring as in season. Our progress has been terrific, and this week we had our first visit from Dr. Ophelia Turner, who wanted to see some of the new designs for herself. And it was just as we'd perfected, and it was just as we'd perfected waveform stability for the projected regenerative electromagnetic fields. Woo! The result was a lot of hairs raising on the backs and necks, along with more than a few strengthened steel panels. It partially reconstituted several alloys at distances of up to six feet, which was even more than we had projected. The timing couldn't have been better. Dr. Turner is without a doubt a brilliant scientist, and it felt so satisfying to be able to impress her in person with our applications of her own technology. I really hope our teams can work together on this more because her insights into how we could achieve better projection and more stable waveforms already have me working on a redesign. Interesting. Again, I'm never, I feel like some of these things are the implementation of some of the anomalies we've discovered. Because we've discovered a repairing anomaly, so maybe this is using that. Transmuter. Which we've seen loads of and we've never read about because I didn't take a picture of them. Private field notes, Dr. A. F. Kingy, date unknown. Please find attached the installation plan of these newer compact limb converters, along with my resignation from ARDA, effective immediately. It has become the favoured pastime of my peers to gripe about the youth of today, but I find myself sentimental. Maybe the next generation will be the one to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of the early days when we thought limb technology's potential limitless. When we thought limb technology's potential limitless. This machine is a step toward that original vision where limb bridges the gap between the materials given to us and our imaginations. Salamander Grotto. Partial memo, source unknown, circa 1971. You know, it's almost like frog spawn. The thing is, I don't see any signs of it growing or changing. I've now discovered a dozen such collections of these egg-like things, and sure, they must be organic, but I have, a little mo I have little more to go on than that. Do they function like eggs and provide some form of incubation and safety? How are they sustained? And if all or even some of that is the case... What is growing in here? Growing or waiting? They're curiously warm, in a fashion quite unlike anything else I've ever come across. It's almost calming. I see nothing tending to these, nor any evidence of what might have first deposited them. The only connection I can find is that those gigantic glowing orbs are usually nearby, and what little wildlife I can still recognise around here steers well clear. It steers well clear. So, yeah, we were right about the orb. Uh, which is in here? Off box. Telephone times trans <coughs> excuse me, transcript. Central exchange monitoring, February the twenty first, nineteen sixty seven. It's difficult, you know. I mean, what do you tell a guy's mum? Do you say, Sorry, Mrs. Baker, your son is just a glob of goo now? Do you say it wasn't an entirely meaningless death? The those scientists probably got some data from it. Do you say I saw him dissolve right in front of my eyes, but a lot of his clothing is still okay, here's his superhero shorts. You just ran straight into the thing, it was so pointless. I feel bad for her. They're asking why it won't be an open casket. For Christ's sake, you could pour him into a jar. Might as well pump him into the coffin. Sad? No. I saw way things worse. Way worse things in the war, and they happened to people I cared about a lot more. This guy? This guy was a jerk. So you want to see that new Poitiers movie? That guy's slick. Uh, where is Orb? Because we didn't read about it. Let's see if it shows up. Uh, anchor obfuscation. Oh, that's happened uh, in the last episode. We haven't read about it yet. Increased magnetic interference means that anchor signatures in this part of the zone are indistinct. It will be harder to precisely locate them. Well, it'll be handy to have the anchor radar if that happens in the zones where we actually want the limb, like the unstable limb, because it's, well, rarer. Hard drive, a database containing years of limb research and development data stolen from Arda by Oppie herself. Marsh eggs. This organic, the organic material within these soft shells displays a remarkable, even alarming ability to regrow itself when harmed. If it could be synthesized with organic or semi-organic compounds, the applications could be remarkable. Friendly dumpster, which we've never scanned before. Do you see? Are you seeing a friendly face, or are you anthropomorphizing garbage now? 
unstable anchor. This anchor has clearly suffered a great deal of damage and degradation. That or perhaps it experienced some kind of overload or imbalance. It may not be wise to touch this or take it away or keep it. And you're a wise person, right? Unless this is a found in over here. So if we're looking for stuff, uh, like marsh eggs, for example, found in the Myers and only the Myers, Mike Myers. Uh, I don't know what happened to orb. Let's see if I can uh, find it quick. Giant orb. Here it is. It's in the materials, but I couldn't figure out how to harvest it. Parcel memo, source unknown, circa 1971. I'd estimate it's been some 10 to 12 months now, maybe more. I'd hoped the passage of seasons would serve at least as some broad frame of reference, but that doesn't seem to happen here anymore. The climate is largely constant, while the weather is subject to these sudden swings that are impossible to predict. Storms appear out of nowhere. Rain is sometimes spontaneous. The sky is clear quite suddenly, though never enough that I can get a good look at the stars. However, my compass still seems to be working, at least most of the time. The moon, however, that's something else. I can usually still make it out, but something is different. Something is changing. I can't tell if it's some local atmospheric change here, or... But to suggest anything beyond that is ridiculous. Why would the moon have changed? And on the subject of strange orbs, those static glowing spheres have been changing colour again. They're now a curious shade of orange, or burnt sienna. This seems to be their most static colour yet, and I wonder if these, this signals some state of maturity we'll see. They seem to be somehow guarding those strange nests of giant frog spawn. I wouldn't say guarding, because that implies intelligence. But they're often nearby. Found a new cache of food last night, and I still have, and I have nothing but time, so I shall contemplate these orbs. I don't know. Antennas. Getting salty. Heh, <laughs> nice. Have a little salt to balance out all that sass. The surfboard, the smell of the waves, the surge of the foam, the smell of the salt. If you can't be out there right now, this is certainly a fine reminder of some very good life choices. Bobbleheads. Colossal floof. Who knew chaos could be so cute? Fair. Steering wheels. What have we got now? A go-kart steering wheel. For the frivolous driver, this particular cosmetic hints that everything is just a game. It's just a game. Beige paint. The ultimate dad colour. Are you a dad? Do you want to be a dad? Do you do friends describe you as having dad energy? Express the fullness of your dad ability with a tone that promises killer puns on every road trip. Gold paint. So 70s that it's almost disco. Its most decadent of colours will see you glittering like fresh champagne. Flow through the forest like wine from a flute. Ah, now, law. Actual law. Actual... Look at all these. <laughs> so many to find. Anomaly studies. Number three. Ardacat Ref 214. <coughs> Excuse me. Cited consistently between late 1959 and early 1961, this anomaly was attracted to any transmitters broadcasting at, a particu at particular shortwave bands. About the size of a bird, roughly spherical, chrome-like and able to fly through unknown means, this anomaly would latch itself to broadcast antennae and begin to dissolve, or perhaps consume, the metal. Stubborn and difficult to dislodge? This anomaly began to disappear when zone personnel began using different frequencies. Is that one that we've seen, do you suppose? No, we haven't. I don't think we ever saw a hat man. Not sure. Theory is number two. Listen, between you and me, ARDA is actually a cover-up. Look at that acronym. ARDA backwards is ADRA. That stands for the American Diamond Replication Association. Here we go. Where have we heard that before? It was mentioned in the 1949 Taylor broadcast before it was suddenly cut off by bad weather when government assassins finally caught up with him and bumped him off for revealing the truth. America has been using the Olympic, uh, Olympic exclusion zone as a secret facility to manufacture diamonds. Gold, too. They use gold as a secure basis for the dollar, while diamonds are both insanely valuable and yet also extremely easy to transport, even smuggle. It's all obvious, really. I don't have to explain myself further. Do your research. Sent by RF. Which is FR backwards. Frederick Roosevelt. The real reason they won't let us into the zone, it's not because they don't want us discovering what's really there, it's because they've been tunneling. They're using this technology to create shortcuts all around the planet so you can go into a tunnel in Washington and come out in China or Egypt or maybe a mall or something, and ARDA will control all these tunnels and use them to regulate trade and tell us where we can or can't go. Anyway, they've already built the first tunnel and you know where it goes? Idaho because they're coming after me. For tax evasion, I owe $54, sent by CC. CC? 
I wonder if these theories are like plots that they storyboarded and brainstormed and discarded for the actual plot. SRR me minute, meeting minutes number four. Meeting minutes, May 19th, 1950. Agenda, early promising results of limb technology on forest restoration and landscaping. Data collection and cross-reference. Early discouraging results of limb technology and artificial mineral synthesis. And troubleshooting the problem as a group. Arising concerns, side effects of limb technology, experimentation on surrounding wildlife. New SSR members not following proper containment procedure with limb experimentation. Action items. Dr. Turner to establish weekly office hours to consult on SRR projects. SRR to establish limb experimentation best practices. And that is everything. I was going to... Um, right, it won't let me leave unless I do something else. I was going to have a look at the uh, self-improvement station over here, but I'll do it next time because uh, everybody who left before the law dump will miss it, so I might as well do it at the start of the next episode. Um, in fact, I will probably leave myself right here to remind me if that even works. But all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching, if you stuck around for all of that. And if you didn't, how are you hearing me say this? Did you just skip to the end? What's the matter with you? And until next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you.